shoddy, it's your birthday. We're gonna party like it's your birthday. Drink whatever's free on your freaking birthday. Because I don't get paid from work until next Thursday. You can find me in the club. Black skinny jeans, I'd rather be at a pub. Mommy, I got a stutter bell. Everybody love it. Laminates swing inside the side when we thrust it. Everybody thrust. When I pull up in the front, see the laced up vans. Black skinny jeans, black polish on my hands. Rocking black E and D hoodie, looking like the man. And the ladies love me too, cause they think I'm in a band. But homie, ain't nothing changed. I'm still hella emo. Bumping, taking back Sunday while you're bumping kilos. But for real though, get your nose out of that shit. The only drugs that bump has Craig Owens in it. I got bars now. Going for the kill on 30 seconds to Mars now. Let me break it down for you. Throw me my guitar now. And you know emo's coming back cause I'm a star now. You can find me in the club. Black skinny jeans, I'd rather be at a pub. Mommy, I got a stutter bell. Everybody love it. Laminates swinging side to side when we thrust it. Everybody thrust. But first, let me say this. I ain't a player of pimp. Been hit with a few bras, but I don't walk with a limp. I've played a dozen warp tours and I hate to admit. The only stage we played wasn't even legit. No. Check out my EP Check My it. whole band will sign it and give it to you free Here. What's your MySpace? Add us to your top three I just add my freaking leg with my car keys Ow! My freaking leg hurts And if it hurts any worse I might end up in a hearse Cause I'm a pussy boy yep. But y'all already knew that I like Made a Parade and keeping my hair you flat You can find me in the club Black skinny jeans, I'd rather be at a pub Mommy, I got a stutter bell Everybody love it Laminates swinging side to side when we thrust And everybody thrust Yo, hold up, guys. That's 303. How do you know? We are 303! Ah. Uh. Yo, 303! I love you guys. I've seen you at every single warp tour. I'm the guy who threw my panties on stage and hit you in the face. Oh, that was you? It gave me pink guy. We had to cancel the rest of the tour. Sorry to hear that, man. Hey, what are band guys like you doing at a club like this? We're actually shooting a music video right now. A bunch of girls and stuff. No, you're not. No, we, really, we are. There's a camera right here. Oh, man, I miss music videos. There's room for one more verse, Mr. 303. You can find me in the club, drunk, looking way out of place. Like I've been locked in Hot Topic since it's 2008. I still rock a sidekick and some lube just in case. I need to get these glamour kill skinny jeans off my waist. And I still think it's a flex that I got half the band, a simple plan upon a group text. Show some respect, cause we toured through hell. And listen up, we got a story to tell. We shared a bus war tour 08 with five emo dudes trying to get their hair straight. They blew the fuse like every day, but you know it's a band that you can find me in the club. Black skinny jeans, I'd rather be at a pub. Mommy, I got a stutter bell. Everybody love it. Laminates swinging side to side when we thrust it. Everybody thrust. Hello, everybody. Welcome once again to the Devil's Hour. My name is Jeff with the G, and for the next, I don't know, hour or so, I'll be showcasing the weird, the wild, and the wonderful all for you guys. How's everybody doing? We doing good? We doing all right. Uh, so, uh, took the week off uh, from doing the show. Uh, the reason I did so was like weird, not purposeful. It's like, you know how in your life you kind of try to, as you're doing things, you kind of add new stuff in, so you have to refigure out how your life goes again, and that's kind of what I'm doing right now. Um, kind of made mention this the last show and things like that that I started seeing someone, and um, we've uh, maintained we're been you know hanging out quite a bit, and uh, so uh, it's trying to uh, now it's I don't want to say it's an official sort of thing because I'm not saying that yet, but it's it's obviously a thing. Um, which is cool. We'll see how it goes. But it's just, it's adding another thing into the, the puzzle that is my life and trying to figure out how to make it work. So was it like my regular work? I got shows. Um, I have this show. And then uh, now adding in this extra element. 
and so trying to figure out how the puzzles to work and so I took this week to uh, enjoy time with them and um, figured out uh, figured out what my uh, figured out how I'm gonna do stuff. So there we go. Uh, I think I have the math down now, as it were. And so um, going forward, we should be back to weekly again. Besides, it's a nice week to have off. You had a chance to watch everything else below the channel and things like that. So I hope you enjoyed all of that because um, it's a lot of fun. Um, and uh, as we should look, I'm not doing the Fox News again today just because, um, mostly because like a lot of times the jokes I think of uh, get thought of beforehand by other people because I just do this once a week. And so things like the the Depp Heard trial, everybody told the good jokes for it. Um, I mean, I give my opinion about it, but it won't be, I mean, I'm going to be quippy about it, but I'm not going to be you know, just laugh track joke um so in the end for that trial while there were no winner like there, there's nobody nobody was great they, they, it was a relationship that shouldn't have happened that was totally toxic against each other um now based on previous behaviors on both of them on mostly on her side showed she's a lot more toxic in general so Versus Johnny, who's Johnny's cool and groovy as long as he's not drinking and drugging. And hanging out with a toxic person causes you to drink and drug, which is an exasperated situation. So, um, not to say that he couldn't handle his shit better. That's just how it works. Um, but uh, it's unfortunate that it all had happened whatsoever. And uh, abuse of any kind is not cool. So, yeah. Even if you're abused, it doesn't give you an excuse to abuse back. Um, you get abused, walk out. I mean, despite the fact is like, and a lot of times is these stuff doesn't seem as easy as it is, which I get. Believe me, I get it. Because um, there's other complications in the world that makes it kind of difficult. But yeah, um, just uh, just be good to each other. That's in the end of what it is. Like if yeah, if you're getting involved with somebody, like seriously involved. Um, do it because you want to be better in your life. They, they, they do it because they help add value to your life and you add value to theirs. Like true value. Like I mean like core emotional value. I'm not talking about money and things like that. Because um, material things are all transitory. They're not permanent. That doesn't last emotional connection uh, is really what lasts and makes it worthwhile. So if you if you want to create a true relationship with somebody, I'm not, you know, beyond just like a one-off kind of easygoing thing, or if the goal is, you know, that's your goal, is you want to spend your time with this said person, make sure that you guys add emotional value to each other, because that's the only way it's going to work. And be open and honest about what you're wanting out of the relationship and when things are hard to make sure you communicate because those are things that people have problems doing because they just want to, they want to maintain this weird little bubble they had at the beginning and pretend that it still exists when it doesn't, it never does. It things change, the world changes. I, Hopefully that the relationship will change with it, but sometimes it won't. And just you both have to recognize that and thank each other for what's going went on and shake hands apart friends. Because uh, that's how it works. That's how all that works. Anyway, uh, I don't know. Here's something fun. Hi, we're Three Clowns Down, the all-clown tribute to Three Doors Down. Why aren't you guys called Three Doors Clown? Do you think you're the first person to tell me this? Hi, we're System Clown a Down, the all clown tribute to System of a Down. Wait, why aren't you guys called System of a Clown? Ah, I never would have thought of that. What's up, we're LCD Clown System, the all clown tribute to LCD Sound System. Okay, this name is a lot better, but you don't need the extra D. We do because someone forgot to shotgun the Bandcamp name. Sorry. 
All right, what's up? We're E-Town Clowncrete, the all-clown tribute to E-Town Concrete. Why are you guys called E-Clown Concrete? All right, this next song is about family, and as a family, I say, beat that guy up! Good evening. We are Clown Sane Clown Posse, the all-clown tribute to Insane Clown Posse. Wait, why aren't you guys called Insane? Hold on. Those guys are already clowns. What is the point of this? Look, man, times are tough. We gotta come together to support each other as artists. You can't just come here and criticize me all the time. Who are you to judge me? I'm Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart. Oh shit, really? Dude, I'm a big fan. Thanks so much for coming. One, two, three, four. <laughs> You're welcome, everybody. Um, I don't know, I just thought, I found that video funny. Uh, we got a great show today. We've got um, the FMs, we've got Vita Devoid, we've got the Beechwood Coyotes, and all sorts of other fun stuff. So please stay tuned. We'll be right back. How's everybody doing? We doing good? Awesome. Glad to hear it. Cheers. I drink coffee sometimes too. Um, let's talk about our first guest, shall we? Uh, yeah, I think we should. Let's talk about uh, the FMs. That's right. The FMs are a bastion of queer music. Uh, it's Pride Month, so, you know. Uh, formed in 2017 by Matt Namer and Frankie Rex, this Brooklyn-bred band exudes the subversion of style and, of course, sex, uh, while rethinking long-standing societal programmings and the rebellion of simply being one's authentic self through all of their politically charged pop missives. So a very poppy, punky, kind of query sort of thing. Um, now, unfortunately, Frankie passed away recently um so uh that's that's horrible it's awful um very big tragedy for us all and who've, who've really enjoyed their music because uh, it's pretty dope it's pretty amazing um so i just uh got a, a new single that went out recently um which is called uh with the new single, the video single is called uh, My Sex. And of course, while playing the music, you'll see their uh, social tag and also the link to all their all their stuff, which includes picking up merchandise. And so please do so. I mean, show this band how much you love them by picking up their stuff because it's, uh, it's it. So uh, let's give it up for the one, the only, the amazing, the FMs.
Ricky, it's your line. The fuck are you talking? It's your line. You're supposed to ask me how the fucking tacos were. I thought you said that. No, you just... Oh, hey, man. How the fuck were those, uh tacos last night. Actually, you know what? The tacos were pretty good, but you know, they weren't hot enough. Oh, they weren't hot enough? Oh, you need green bastard hot sauce for your tacos and all your food. Oh, yeah. You've got your own fucking hot sauce? Pops? Bob, two pops. Green bastard parts unknown. It's mm. nice, pops. Give it a try, Ricky. <laughs> Holy fuck, man, that's good. Oh, yeah! You should be selling this shit. We should do a commercial for this. Not for tacos. Holy fuck, Ricky. We are doing a commercial for this, It's fucking Ricky. good. Green bastard hot sauce. It'll fucking crank you one. Oh, yeah! BFMs, everybody. Wasn't that a nice song? Really nice. Uh, really dig it. Cool, nice, interesting message. It's really cool. Um, cheers. Alrighty. So, as you guys know, I like showcasing the weird, the wild, and the wonderful on here on the sh on the, the show, and I like doing that in life in general. That's how my that's how my world works. Yeah, I can see some of my weird, wild, and wonderful stuff right here in my little curio shelf, and you know my. Uh, Sideshow posters on the back wall and whatnot. Oh, lots of cool stuff. Uh, anyway, um, but that also includes things like short films. And short films I love watching the most um, is stuff from the 48 Hour Film Festival because there's some really interesting stuff, and a lot of those people don't get enough play. So I want to make sure they do. And so let's give it up for uh, this fun little film. Here you go. It's weird, you know, coffee. Not your typical description of coffee. <laughs> 
you know, it's like nostalgia. Nostalgia. Yeah, you know how it invokes both happiness and sadness at the same time. Hmm. I'm listening. Coffee. Without it, it's like kryptonite. I'm miserable. But when I take that first sip, I feel invincible. Interesting. You know, I have superpowers of my own. Ooh, man of mystery. Enlighten me. It's, uh, it's embarrassing, really. I... You sure you want to know? No, I really want to know. X-ray vision. Wow, I'm serious. I'm trying not to look at you right now. Stop it. I've been trying to tell you all morning. Obviously, your superpower is definitely not listening. <laughs> what do you think's up there? Trash. What? <laughs> I heard there's, I heard space just has a lot of trash in it. It's just like floating around everywhere. I think you're thinking of the ocean. <laughs> no, no, I read there's like millions and millions of pieces of space trash just like floating throughout our solar system. <laughs> it makes sense. You know how many landfills got to go somewhere. Wait a minute. What's your superpower today, Hotshot? Today? Yeah. You could have the power of flight and just fly on up there and check it out. I could lie to you. I could tell you there's a ton of trash up there, and you have to take my word for it. I don't need you to fly. I just need your superpower to be here with me, to protect me, just like you did that day at the park. I'm not going anywhere. Hurry up, I'm gonna drop it. <laughs> Look at what you did. <laughs> Let the witnesses behold on this day, April 28th, 2022, Ooh, that Cal Kent oh, is, is to be put to death by lethal injection for one count of murder of the late Kristen Partridge. Kristen, Kristen who? What the hell? Hey, what's going on? Should we sanitize it? No. <laughs> what is this? No, 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 no!
Giselle never got to see today's superpower. He should be gone by now. Hi, Boob Dini here. Are you bored in the house and in the house bored? Well, we have the answer for you. It's the brand new burlesque deck. It will help you play with yourself while you're home alone. Solitaire has never been this sexy. Ooh, Miss Orchid May goes right on top of Simone Del Mar. Bored playing with yourself? Play with others. Zoom has never been this much fun. Two, three, war, war. Ooh, I have a oh. Now, just slightly by Simone Del Mar. Yay! Hanky, Not only do you get these 52 amazing playing cards, but we've included this, a cheat sheet of who the 26 performers are. Buy yourself a deck today. Cure the boredom at burlesquedeck.com. Fun little flick, huh? Um, yeah, so I love watching this sort of stuff, so I like doing that sort of things, and so I'm glad you enjoyed it. I did, yeah. Uh, let's talk about our next guest, shall we? Um, yeah, let's talk about Vita DeVoid. Vita DeVoid has been the fireball on stage in the Southern U.S. burlesque revival uh, since about 2003. Performing solo in a variety of productions all based in Florida initially before touring all over the U United States doing international cruise lines, as well as circus and the, the Grand Cayman Islands, because she does other things, just burlesque, and she also does circus and sideshow stuff. Now, um, Vita's uh, strongest performances have landed her the nickname as the Chameleon of Burlesque, as every single performance she brings to the stage is a completely different look and character representation, boasting nearly 60 at 60, 6 zero, different personas from original creations to impersonations of popular characters from film, history, comic books, and television. Now, what I'm about to show you is probably her most famous. So, uh, we need to avoid everybody. Hello, friends. I'm your vitamin to Benjamin girl. Are you tired, run down, listless? Do you poop out at parties? <laughs> to all your problems is in this little bottle. Now you pick up the bottle. Oh. A little higher. That's right. The answer to all your problems is in this little bottle. Vitamin to Benjamin. Vitamin to Benjamin contains vitamins, meat, vegetables, and minerals. Yes, with Vitamin to Benjamin, you can spoon your way to health. <laughs> all you do is take a tablespoonful after every meal. Now you take some. Oh. <laughs> It's so tasty, too. <laughs> Just like candy. No, 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 no. Look, you're supposed to like the stuff. You've got to smile, be happy. Yes. Now try it again. Yes. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
going to be fine. You, you just go ahead. Okay. So why don't you join the thousands of happy, happy people and get a great big bottle of Vitamita Vegemin tomorrow? That's Vita Mita Vegemin. <laughs> oh, that's fine, fine. Now you've got the feeling. Now I'd like to try it once more, only this time faster and brighter. Faster and brighter, yes, sir. Hello, friends. I'm your Vitamita Vegemin girl. Are you tired, run down, listless? Do you poop out at parties? Are you unpopular? The answer to all your problems is in this little bottle. Vitamita Vegemin. Yes, Vitamita Vegemin contains vitamins, meat, vegetables, and minerals. Yes, with Vitamita Vegemin, you can spoon your way to health. All you do is take a big tablespoonful after every meal. <laughs> it's so tasty, too. It tastes just like candy. So why don't you join the thousands of happy, happy people and get a great big bottle of Vitamita Vegemin tomorrow. That's Vitamita Vegemin. Oh. <laughs> now, I'd like to do it once more, this time from It's So Tasty Too. It's So Tasty Too. That's right. Yes, it's So Tasty Too. Just like candy. <laughs> you know, this stuff tastes pretty good once you get used to it. <laughs> yes, I know. Now, would you go ahead, please? It's So Tasty Too. Oh. <laughs> it's so tasty, too. So, so, uh, I don't know where to start unless I begin at the beginning. All right, start at the beginning. Oh, thank you. Hello, friends. I'm your Vitamita Benjamin girl. Are you tired, run down, listless? Do you poop out at parties? Are you unpopular? The answer to all your problems is in this little bottle. A uh, little bottle. <laughs> uh, buy me the Benjamin. <laughs> buy me the Benjamin contains vitamins, meat, vegetables, and minerals. <laughs>
sister. This is for Gil, Kathy. Hmm? Are you all right? Oh, I feel fine, but you know it's hot in here. Well, do you think you'll be able to go on with the show? Well, do you? What? <laughs> Joe, I think you'd better take a little rest until showtime. Yeah, boy, it sure is hot in here. Joe, would you take Miss McGillicuddy to one of the dressing rooms and let her rest until showtime? Oh, sure. Avoid everybody, wasn't that dope? A lot of fun, right? Uh, definitely check out all of our other stuff. Make sure you pick up all the things that are a link tree. I know she's about to take a big trip soon, so um, uh, anything that can help, anything you can do to help, helps, you know, it's definitely worthwhile. Uh, so tasty coffee, anyways. You know what time it is, right? That's right. Today, we're going to talk a little sideshow history. Um, now, today, I'm going to change it up a little bit because I'm also talking about history and stuff like that. But rather than a person, um, I think I'm going to talk about a specific uh, act, a specific thing, because I think it has a, a merit in sideshow world. It's famous. Um, it's really, really dope. Uh, I actually really love this act a lot. Um, it doesn't get played enough, I think, because it takes a bit of work, but I think it's really, really awesome. So what I want to talk about is I want to talk about the infamous Spidora. Now, Spidora is a really cool um, kind of gag sort of setup where it looks like a, a woman's head is on the body of a spider and uh, on the web and things like that. And so it's a lot of fun. It's been around for ages, um, like literally over 100 years they've been doing this act. Like, it was actually invent back in the what, late 1800s, a magician by the name of uh, Henry Rolter in England actually created this, the initial act for this, to put in the circuses and sideshows and uh, dime museums uh, over there, over in England, and eventually it made its way over here and it's toured all over, stuff like that. It's became infamous and for things, um, even like had a big long standing here in Coney Island where it got its U.S. fame, uh, so it's pretty cool. And it was even featured in by a sideshow lover himself, Todd Browning. He made a, a, a silent film back in 1927 called The Show, of which he also showcased a spider there with uh, Edith Telcher, I believe her name is. And uh, here's a little clip from that. Yeah, so, yeah, isn't that pretty dope? That's been on since 1927. Now, 
throughout the years there's been varying degrees as far as things like that and stuff like that but it's been a really really infamous act that's happened around like that and sort of like it's become kind of sexual thing um it's such a beloved thing that this year uh being 2022 that the uh, Congress of Curious People, which is the big thing that happens here at Coney Island, USA, uh, they inducted this act into the Sideshow Hall of Fame. That's how important and how amazing it is. So it's pretty dope, pretty cool, pretty groovy. The Spidor, if you get a chance, whenever you go to some uh, circus or sideshow things, because some still tour around, or there might be like stable locations as far as dime museums, like Petchko's uh, Dime Museum in Augusta, Georgia, for example. There's the the thing, uh, the exhibit for the thing in Arizona, I think, has one, uh, and so on and so forth. You can definitely track that down in some places. So definitely do so. Uh, I know they're working on trying to get one here, working permanently here in Coney Island, hoping the next year or so. So anyways, the spy door, everybody, and we'll be right back. Is your bar looking a little ordinary? Is it lacking something awesome? Well, head out to your local liquor store and, and pick, pick up, up something, something extraordinary. extraordinary. Grab a bottle of Old Umble Straight Whiskey or Old Umble Special Reserve. They're clean, smooth, easy drinking whiskeys that taste the way whiskey should taste. From humble beginnings to an extraordinary finish, Old Umble Whiskeys are what your bar needs today. Walk tall, be awesome, and, and drink humble. Old Umble Straight Whiskey and Old Umble special reserve get yours today that's right get yours today or any whiskey really um if you're in texas area definitely could get it um hold on we'll just want a bunch of rewards here in new york for some stuff like that so hopefully that'll prompt them to get it up here normally it's technically able to get up here it's just finding a distributor i'm hoping it gets up here in new york soon because it's still one of my favorite whiskeys um i really dig it um <clears throat> Anyways, let's talk about our next performer. So um, for those people who are familiar with the show and have watched it for these past two years, first on Twitch and now here on YouTube, on Twitch, um, especially at the beginning, when I first started doing this back at the beginning of the pandemic, I used to showcase a lot of, like, bands. I mean, I still do it today, but, like, a lot of bands I knew back then, like, personally. And so I was hyping them especially because nobody was working them in. And so trying to give them as much love as, and eyes as possible is what I did. So who I want to talk about now is uh, probably one of Texas's most uh, exceptional and hardest working talents. Uh, he's born in Houston. I'm talking about the Mighty Orc. Now, the Mighty Orc has a sound that's averse and unique as, of course, as Houston. Um, his uh, performances uh, include songs that do like numerous genres of music, you know, like country, folk, blues, jazz, rock. Little Zydeco, really, like, he's an amazing talent um, that I've enjoyed seeing a couple of times uh, live, because it's definitely worthwhile. But what's really fun, and I'm going to tell a story here that I didn't put in my notes, because that's how it is. So, in Houston, living in Houston, uh, there was a, there's a local place we like hanging out with a lot, which is, uh, like, especially me and my friends, and a lot of, really a lot of, you know, musicians and, like, burlesque or stuff like that place, Gar Darwin's Pubs. Shout out Darwin's Pub. Uh, Houston's definitely the go-to place to hang out. Um, I was chatting with a friend of mine who's a good friend, you know, maker. He's a maker by trade, so, like, he likes to make stuff and build things. And so um, one day we're just sitting chatting outside, drinking, just talking about whatever, probably movies or whatnot. And then he looks over and goes, ah, so my New York is over there. I go, yeah, my New York, yeah. And I guess this. Dude, I'm like, I don't geek out by stuff, but like the Money York, I really like the Money York. I go, all right, cool, man. Do you want to go meet him? <laughs> he goes, what? I go, yeah, let's go. <laughs> just, I'm one type of people. I'm a type of person that I'll talk with and meet with anybody. So I uh, went over and talked and chatted with him for a while. Like, lovely, lovely man. And here's some nice, lovely, lovely music all the way from Houston, Money York. Wordless 
longings that I'm seeing Talking about the sweet in between
Mighty Orc, everybody. Wasn't that dope? Um, he is phenomenal. His band, full band setup, fucking dope as shit. So if you get a chance to see him, I recommend it wholeheartedly. He is such a great, great guy in general. Um, super humble. Crazy talented. Uh, I can't speak enough about how great the Mighty Orc is. So definitely check him out. Uh, <clears throat> so we doing okay? Doing great? Awesome. Good. Uh, let's talk about our next guest, shall we? So, um, next guest, I got a chance to check this band out through a show, initially through a show on YouTube uh, called No Cover. Um, that's how I initially set up, and I think I'm starting to make the trend by putting them on the show right now, because they're all really amazing, talented bands. It just helps me discover shit. It's what keeps me young is discovering new shit, by the way. You're worried about getting old? Don't be set in your ways about things. Just make a point to discover new things. Uh, that helps a lot. Um, you should see me sitting next to people I would say like that's quote unquote the same age as me in high school, and uh, there's a difference. Uh, not to say that they don't have fulfilling lives, but it's just just how it works. Um, and there could be other stuff going on. I just like to say, you know, and it help you, you how you keep you know feeling young is continuously learning and discovering new things. Don't settle. Don't get set in your ways. Change it up. Be cool. Anyways, as I detract from what I'm talking about, which is this next awesome band, who I want to talk about is I want to talk about the Beachwood Coyotes. Now, there's a really crazy, incredibly interesting band from out from the LA area, which are pretty dope. Too. They're extremely fun, and they like to create this really cool like indie pop music, often with a humorous take. Not always, but often. Um, little tongue, a little cheek, a little tongue in that cheek, as it were. Um, and so I saw them on No Cover, and I thought they were really, really dope. So I deep dove into them, because that's what I do. I discover a new band, and I listen to everything of theirs. Well, they have a dope CD, uh, EP, that came out recently called Fake the Art. No, that is. Uh, it did in a good way. Uh, it gets that fake it till you make it sort of thing. Um, and here's a lead single, which is called Countdown.
tell me that you're proud of me. Vod Visuals Press is proud to announce the publication of Don't Miss This. Over 200 stunning photographs document the last decade of eccentric performing arts in America. This beautiful hardcover book features the finest theatrical clowns, sideshow performers, burlesque stars, and alternative variety acts from New York City and beyond. Photography by Jim R. Moore. Don't Miss This is a limited edition, so buy now before it disappears. Purchase at vvpress.com Beachwoods Coyotes, everybody. Wasn't that dope? A lot of fun. I really dig them a lot. Uh, definitely keep track of them. They're really, really cool. Um, they did not make it their way through no cover, so I mean, watch that show. There's some really dope bands on there, so I'll probably be showcasing quite a few of them later on. Did we have a good time? I had a great time. Uh, so uh, let's give some uh, big thanks for the show today. So who should we thank first? Well, uh, of course we should thank the FMs, uh, with that tragic passing with such great music. Uh, so we need to make sure to thank them. Um, still follow them on their socials, Instagram at the FMs, because uh, I think they'll be posting some stuff. I know they haven't done it, that I'm aware of, they haven't done a full, tri- a proper tribute for uh, Frankie yet. So we can keep track of that. Plus uh, just it shows love. Uh, just by following socials, because people can see that too. So it's just follow that, that shows love. Um, also make sure to catch their merch, which you can get merch at uh, merch.ambientlinks.com backslash collections backslash VFMs uh, to pick up all their records, including things on vinyl and things like you know my sex and all their other great stuff. Um, yeah, it's definitely worthwhile. And uh, rest in power, Frankie. Who else should we thank? We should thank uh, Vita DeVoid. Um, you can follow Vita on Instagram at Vita DeVoid and go to her link tree, uh, which is L I N K T R dot E E backslash Vita DeVoid for all their important links. Uh, I believe there's merch, uh, there's spicy sites, there's all sorts of fun stuff. I believe there's even just their their pay information so you can just you know send them love that way. Because that's how it works. Uh, that's how this. That's how this show works. Is making sure that I showcase these awesome, amazing people, and then so well you can see how cool they are, and then you show your appreciation to them, because they would greatly appreciate it. Because they're worthwhile. We're all independent workers. In addition, also make sure we thank the Beachwood Coyotes, which you can follow them on Instagram at Beachwood Coyotes, and then go to their website, which is www.beachwoodcoyotes.com to keep track of all their fun stuff. Also, those people make sure you know watching the show. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, in the descriptions, it also has my link information, which includes a lot of fun stuff, including merch, um, my uh, fun bar. Well, like I call it pay my bar tab because just my pay information. But you know, I do get bar tabs. And then, uh, yeah, and and do such a thing. And lastly, but not leastly. We need to make sure to do a retro thanks to uh, the Mighty Orc. Follow them on Instagram at the Mighty Orc, and it's O R Q for the Orc. Um, that way, you can keep track of all this information going on. He does a, a, a he has a YouTube channel as well where he showcases music, which is what you saw earlier was a thing he did with his. That's how he kept busy during the pandemic, and he still does it not as regular as he used to because you know life started opening up, so he can actually get gig gigs. But he still does stuff on occasion. It's amazing. I watch it when I can. And I'll rewatch it later because it's YouTube. Like, you can watch this whenever because I'm not doing this live. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, last but not least, thank you for watching the show. If you enjoyed the show, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. Um, drop me a note as far as anything you'd like to see as far as an independent act. Uh, please make sure it's independent um, when it comes to music and everything like that because... Uh, licensing gets really wonky and I would like to make sure to get your stuff up as soon as possible and not get stuck having to do the weird way for stuff to pass if I can or can't or have to probably pass it because um, labels can be tricky. Oh, that's all I have to say with that. Anyways, thank you guys for tuning in once again. Be safe, be cool, be groovy, and as always, keep drinking. Keep drinking.